I'm 88 years old now, but I'm still teaching. It's my passion. I've danced since I was three years old. I just love it. Irene has been teaching dance in the same studio for 55 years. But when coronavirus hit, she and her daughter Susan couldn't hold classes and now they've lost their space entirely. Because of the lockdown and um, COVID-19, we weren't able to pay our rent and then we lost our home. Susan and Irene are now having to rely on renting temporary dance studios. I started it because I found there was such a lot of talent in Southwark. Over the years, we've had thousands of children through the doors. Without Super Arts, my life would be very different because I would be different as a person because dance wouldn't be a part of it. It's something that's been in our life so consistently, like wherever's going on, we've always had dance, it's always been where it's been. And the idea that everything's up in the air, it's really worrying and we need to get back to normal. Super Arts, um, I believe, is a really important asset to the community. The young people need us now more than ever and um, it's not just the performing arts, it's not just about dancing, it's just a whole experience which is really important for their well-being. Irene and Susan have been unable to find a long-term solution and are concerned they might never find a permanent home. I really don't know what we're going to do. That would really break my heart. Everything I do and everything I have done is for the children and the pupils. Everybody that knows me knows that. That's all I live for, really. Jem O'Reilly, BBC London.